thank you very much. It was uh, you know, a good effort all the way around. I thought we brought good energy uh, to the floor you know, to start and got off uh, you know, on the right foot offensively, defensively, and uh, yeah, it was fun. So really, this was the whole package for you. You look at Lisa Strack. She's able to come away with a career high in 24 points, beating the career high of 20, which she had earlier this year against uh, Charleston Southern. A lot of those shots were open, but she, she had a great game. She was really aggressive, you know what I mean? Uh, to see her rebounded or, or get the outlets in transition and just attack it up the floor, and if she's not going to be uh, impeded, then just going all the way to the lane. So she was really aggressive, got a lot of layups, and uh, I thought just overall... You know, we had kids that were willing to share the ball. I know we had a lot of assists at the half anyway on the on the baskets that we had. So, you know, we got good stuff out of transition, and uh, and we strung some stops together in the first half as well, and, you know, that helped us as well. Now, do you want her taking that many shots? Is that is that going to be a game plan for you guys moving forward between her and I guess Liz Lee are going to be your two yeah. go-tos? You know, here's, here's what I think about our team. I think we have to have uh, five or six players prepared to score double figures in any given night. You know, I don't think we have one player – um, who is going to get 25 or 26 on a given night. I think we have a team that can be really, really hard to guard because we, you know, we're, we have players that are ready to step up, you know, no matter what the situation is. So I'm more concerned about, about shot selection and shooting percentages. You know, and if, if we're good in those areas, if kids are taking their shots and we're shooting a high percentage and we're getting good looks and we're getting the ball in the paint, whether it's off a drive or a post feed before we look to shoot a perimeter shot, those kinds of things, and I think we're going to be happy with our offense. We're talking with Matt Corker, of course, the uh, head basketball coach on the women's side here at American University, and uh, you've got to be happy, too, with the play over the last few games of Alexis Dobbs, your freshman point guard, uh, the Patriot League Rookie of the Week uh, for this week, coming off the, the game, the 16-point game against George Washington. You happy with the way she's matured here early on in this season? Yeah, without a doubt. You know, Alexis has had a really short learning curve. You know, when you if you were to come watch a game and sit down, you probably wouldn't think she was a freshman. Um, you know, she brought a lot of really big game experience uh, to the table when she came here and won a couple, winning a couple of state championships in Ohio and being a coach's kid. So you can kind of see all those things. But Lex has really, you know, worked hard to study and be a student of the game, you know, and she breaks down extra film and, and those kinds of things. I think that's really uh, sped up her uh, maturation process, so to speak. Uh, but she's earned uh, the respect of her teammates by practicing consistently, um, doing that at a high level. And so she's won our kind of upperclassmen, you know, confidence uh, in doing that. And she continues to, to get better. You know, she can facilitate others and set other people up. She's a really solid defender. And she can knock down the open shot, you know, uh, if necessary as well. So, uh, so we're really happy with her progress so far. You guys really must enjoy the uh, home cooking, right? I mean, you look at this uh, this stretch here at home. Yeah. You're able to 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 win out the, this home stretch, the four game. Uh, you look back to last year, including last year, 12 game home winning streak, mm -hmm. 31 of 36 here at home. I mean, Ben yeah. Green has been very kind to you. Yeah, it really has. You know, and that's something that we uh, we talked about early in the year. Um, it was nice after playing our first seven away when we had that first home game against George Mason. We talked a little bit about just defending your home court and some of the tradition that we have here, you know, playing well at home and wanting to be a team that defends their home court. So, um, yeah, so it's been nice, but we're back out for the next five, I think, uh, until we host Colgate here um, in the league. So, um, but we'll enjoy this one today, and, and kids will be taking off and enjoying uh, four days, three and a half days for Christmas. Uh, a little break, and then we'll get ready for Monmouth when we get back. Then you mentioned, you know, the fact that you have to, to play in the, in, the, in the Hawks tournament, but then you're also going to start, before you come home, Patriot League play. So you have a couple right. uh, on the road. You have uh, Lehigh uh, on the road that, that opens up play for you. Talk about Patriot League play. As you see this team now, you know, getting closer and closer to Patriot League play, mm -hmm. uh, the, the team coming together and how you see, see it shaping up. Yeah, I think we're making a lot of uh, positive strides, and, uh, you know, really your goal is to be playing well late in the year and uh, I, th I, f I feel like we're we're starting to get more comfortable offensively with our system and what we're trying to run I think we're getting more comfortable with the roles that we're asking you know our kids to play and they're understanding what they need to bring to the table um, on a consistent basis and so I think we're starting to see that I think we've made a lot of progress within the last month and in, in these this home stretch here I think we used the fall break that two weeks to really shore up some things and I've been happy with how we played uh, out of that stretch um, you know success comes in inches not miles is what we tell our team so it's really a matter of doing 
just focusing on the details, doing the little things right, finding little ways to get better. It's not, you know, one big thing in a fell swoop. So if we can if we can practice hard and, and prepare well, I think, you know, we got a really good chance to continue to improve and then we'll see where we are, you know, late in the year. What were some of the things that you were able to work on over the fall break that, that you feel you got better at? I think we just shored up our offensive execution and uh, I think players, and we, and we had a chance to work with kids individually um, and with some skill work and those kinds of things. And I think our kids use that opportunity to better understand their role and what they need to bring to the table. Um, on a consistent basis, so I think it, I think offensive execution, and then I think you know we shored up some things defensively where uh, where we were lacking as well. So now here after this evening's game, you're going to give the players what you say a couple of days off in order to. In, in yeah, we'll come back on the 26th. So uh, we'll have a, an evening practice on the 26th and uh, and get ready for Monmouth. All right, we'll have a, a good holiday and a happy New Year if I don't see you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.